You start by putting your index finger on the second fret of the C string and then you play that C string twice. Make sure that your thumb and middle finger are already hovering above the G and the E string so you can pluck them easily. So it's going to be... Then you're going to play the C string again with your index finger. So it's... Now you're going to add your ring finger on the third fret of the E string. Now you're going to play a D major and pluck the top three strings like this. So D major is index finger 2nd fret G string, middle finger 2nd fret C string and your ring finger on the 2nd fret of the E string. Now you're going to play a G string but it's pretty soft so you don't play it as loud as the other notes, so like this. It's not part of the main melody but I just put it in there to fill up the space and make it sound more melodious. So far we have... Now your middle finger is already positioned on the 2nd fret of the C string, so now you can just play the C string without doing anything. So you play that twice and then you take off your ring finger only, so not the other two fingers. And then you're going to pluck the G and the E again. Then you're going to go back to the C string and play the A string open. Keep these fingers on there again for some resonance. So in total you have... Now you're going to take off those fingers and put your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the E string and your index finger on the 2nd fret of the C string and then you're going to pluck the top 3 strings, so. And then you're going to hit the G string. I played it very loudly so you can hear the string, but in reality you play this very soft. Again, to fill up space, to fill up void. In total you have... Now you're going to play the C string twice and now we're going to go to what is maybe the most challenging part of this little riff. So this index finger is going to rotate and then you're going to turn it into a bar. You're going to bar the second frets of the C, E and A string. If you're not sure how to do a bar chord, I'm linking a video right now in which I explain this thoroughly. So you can go to that video, watch it, practice and come back. I'm sure you'll get it. So you turn it into a bar, then you add your middle finger to the 3rd fret of the E string and then you're going to put your pink on the 5th fret of the A. So make sure to practice this thoroughly because it's actually a G chord with an accent. We need this accent but as you can see I'm already moving my shoulder over here and it's giving a tense situation which we want to avoid obviously. So I'm barring this then putting my middle finger and then my pink and then I'm playing the bottom 3 strings then I'm taking off the pink and playing only the bottom 2 strings. So like that and then I'm playing the G string and this time I'm playing the G string loudly because it's part of the melody so happy birthday to so you see it's part of the main melody so we're gonna play that just as loud as the other one after you hit that open G string this finger the middle finger which is currently on the third fret of the E string you're going to slide it to the second fret of the same string and with slide I don't mean this I mean only sliding this finger so you're not gonna play this note and then slide so slide and then you're going to play the top three strings so in total it sounds like this now you're going to remove the middle finger and play the open E string and this G string over here is just to fill up some resonance so but it's not necessary you can also just leave it out now we're going to do a quick slide from the second fret to the third I'm doing this slide with my pink because right after that I have to lay down a G and it's easier to use my pink here because then I have my other three fingers free to immediately lay down the chord. If you're not familiar on slides or if you're not sure how to do them properly, I'm linking a video right now in which I show you how to perform a slide. It's a short video, you can watch it and then practice a few times and get back. So, second to third, then you hit the third fret of the A string again. So it's gonna be... You see, so I hit it another time. Now we're gonna lay down a G and pluck all the strings, play the E string. So it's, so it's happy birthday. Now we're gonna hit a D major and pluck all the strings. Two. And now we're gonna go back to the group we had before. 
and pluck only the top three strings. So you can also leave your middle finger out. Personally, I prefer to just hit the whole G and then get my top three strings because I just did it. So it's easier for me to come back to, but it's really up to you. G, E string, D major, and then back to that grip. And then you play the top three strings. And then you hit a G again to kind of let it ring out. I really hope that you learned a lot from this video. Really hope to see you soon in the next video.